Hi everybody, it's Lee of CJ Drill, and yes, I'm holding an electrical receptacle, but I want to tell you this, it's not just any outlet. This is special because if you look here at the center, it's got two USB ports. It combines a USB charger with an outlet, and we're going to install one today, and you're going to be surprised at how easy it is to do. Now before we get started, I've got to go and I've got to shut off the power to this outlet here. I've cut the power off at the breaker box, but now I have to make certain that the, you know, the circuit's not energized. And what I will say is you can take, you can take a lamp and plug it in and turn the lamp on, and if it doesn't come on, then no, you know that you've cut the power. In my case, I have a circuit analyzer, and the circuit analyzer, well, it has like little light bulbs in it. And when you plug it in, Okay, the light bulbs light up, but since our circuit is not energized, well, those lights aren't lit, so we know that our power is cut off. But, I want to say this, what if my circuit analyzer isn't working, right? So let's double check. And the way we verify is I'm going to take, this is a voltage tester, and it does the same thing. I'm going to turn it on and I've got a green light there. Now if this light turns red, then we know that the power is still on. So what we're going to do is we're just going to insert it like that and guess what? Green light. So we know that the circuit is de-energized. But you know for the heck of it, let's just, we're going to insert it here, same thing, green light, so we know that we are good to go. Okay, now I'm going to take the cover plate off. And as I do this, I want to say this to you, never hurts to be too safe, right? That's why we check the circuit a couple times before we uh, actually start working on it. Okay, so now it's time for us to pull that receptacle away from the wall. And the way we do this is we got a Phillips screw, screw here, got a Phillips screw here, we got to have to pull those out of there. Okay, now let's just pull this away from the wall. We're going to have enough wire to pull it out so we can really see what we've got going on here. So we've got three wires here we need to disconnect. We've got our white, that's our neutral. Over here we have our black, that's our hot. And right here, this bare copper wire on this uh, green screw, that's our ground. So let's disconnect those. Now we're going to disconnect our neutral here. That's the white wire. And you know, if you didn't want to take the time to unscrew everything, you could always just cut the wire. Now we're going to move on to our um, hot. Here's our new outlet. Let's connect it. Now just keep in mind that black wire to black wire, white wire to white wire, and green wire is our ground, so it goes to our bare copper wire. So let's make those connections. Okay, so we're going to attach our two black wires. That's our hot. I'm going to try twisting this first before I put on my uh, wire nut. That's what this is. This is a wire nut. I'm going to twist this on, and I'm going to let it get real tight. I, I don't want to have any bare wire showing there, all right? Well, let's attach the white wires. That's our neutral, right? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to twist it around here this first, and now I'm going to attach my wire nut. I'm going to tighten it up. and I want it nice and tight. Now it's time to move on to our ground wire. Ground wire here, this is green, and we have our bare wire, and I'm just going to attach with a wire nut like I attach these two. Now my wire nuts, these right here are very secure. I gave them a nice tug, and I know that they're on there, but one thing that I always like to do just for, for added safety is I like to wrap all my wires with a little electrical tape so that nut has no chance of slipping off. Okay, I've got one. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the remaining wires. 
Now I've got my wires all very secure. Now I just have to gently fold them and stick them into the box here so that I can fit the new receptacle in. Now all we have to do is insert our duplex receptacle into the box. Okay, so I've got my receptacle secured to the box. Okay, before we put the cover plate on our receptacle, I'm going to draw something to your attention. It may look upside down, right? Because our ground here is above our prongs. But I also want to show you something, and if you zoom in real close here, this says it's the top of our receptacle. So we know that it's installed correctly. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's plug in, see if we're good to go. So here we go. And there we go. There's our little charging icon. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.